Hey, church, let's do a devotional out of Psalm 9. So if you have your Bibles, please open with me. What we're going to do is we're going to read through these verses and then see how they apply to our lives because there is much to apply. Let's begin Psalm 9, verse 1. I will give thanks to the Lord with all of my heart. I love this beginning because it's so worshipful. Such a right perspective when entering into the courts of the Lord. Listen to what he says. I will tell of all your wonders. I will be glad. I will exult in you. I will sing praise to your name, O Most High. What a beautiful picture of entering into the courts of the Lord and recognizing who he is, giving him a claim, giving him honor, and then coming with your concerns. Because David, I'll tell you, has got a lot of concerns. So we pick it up in verse 3. When my enemies turn back, they stumble and perish before you. See, David brings his trouble in relationship to the Lord. Verse 4, for you have maintained my just cause. See, God is a righteous judge over all the earth. You sit on the throne judging righteously. You have rebuked the nations. You have destroyed the wicked. And I will tell you that there are many nations that arise up against God. And there is this aspect of God standing over the, the, the throne of the earth, right? And, and that he will rebuke the nations that arise up against him. David knows this very well. And uh, verse 6, the enemy has come to an end in perpetual ruins and you have uprooted the cities. There is something prophetic about this because we know in the latter days that there is a wrath of God poured out against the nations, against the cities who rise up in direct rebellion. And I tell you, there's a, a, an arising of that before our eyes. The very memory of them has perished. Verse 7, but the Lord abides forever. There's that, that worship perspective. He has established his throne for judgment. He will judge the world in righteousness. He will execute judgment for the peoples with equity. See here, he knows that God sits over the, 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 the in his throne, he is over all the earth, but he knows that he takes up the case of each person. See, the, the, he will execute judgment with equity. Verse nine, the Lord will be a stronghold for the oppressed. He will be a stronghold in times of trouble. David knows where to go, where to run when there are troubles in his life. But would you notice verse 10? Because it's a really great verse. And those who know your name will put their trust in you. Do you know the name of God? Then put your trust in him. Put your hope in him. It says, for you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. He'll never turn his back on you. He'll never leave you. Sing praises to the Lord, you he said, who dwells in Zion. See, declare among the peoples his deeds. That's right. Have an attitude and heart of worship. For he who requires blood remembers them. He does not forget the cry of the afflicted. He knows, David knows. Be gracious to me, O Lord. Be behold my affliction from those who hate me. Those who lift me up from the gates of death, that I may tell of all your praises, that in the, gate, uh, in the gates of the daughter of Zion, I may rejoice in your salvation. What a beautiful picture. The nations have sunk down in the pit which they have made. In the net which they hid, their own foot has been caught. You see, this is a principle of the scriptures. The Lord has made himself known. He has executed judgment. And in the work of his own hands, the wicked is snared. It's a principle of the Lord. Verse 17, the wicked will return to Sheol, even all the nations who forget God. For the needy will not always be forgotten, nor the hope of the afflicted perish forever. Because he says this, grand finish, verse 19. Arise, O Lord, do not let man prevail. Let the nations be judged before you. Put them in fear, O Lord. Let the nations know that they are but men. And you are God who sits over all the earth. Let's pray. Father, thank you for that perspective. And we just come to you in faith, knowing that we can bring our problems, our concerns, our troubles, and that you are the one who takes them up. God, we turn to you in all faith and say, God, 
show your hand in our lives. Open the door, make a way, show your hand. Be our help in time of need. We turn to you now, Lord. In Jesus' powerful name, and everyone said, amen and amen. God bless you.